so when it comes to the digital divide, digital device, the digital divide, which is an unequal access to technology, doesn't just impact 1,000, 2,000, or 3,000. It impacts billions globally. It's not a it's not a it's not a continent thing. It's a global thing, and it is driven by factors just like some that we have mentioned in the chat box. Um, of course education, location, age, finance, a lot of things that affect the digital divide. A study that was carried out recently, um, as recent as 2020, says that only 53% of the world's population have access to internet. internet. So what happens to the other 47%? And that's where a lot of our students and our classrooms and our environment falls into. So if we do not have that internet access, does it mean that we have been cut out? Does it mean that we do not have access to education? On the contrary, if you go to the northern part of Nigeria, one of the major ways of um, accessing any kind of thing is through radio. It's difficult for you to go to the north and not find a household, one household that doesn't have a radio station. A lot of you that are from the north can attest to that. And in that case, how can we leverage that resource that they have to still deliver on our communicative skills, whether it's reading, whether it's listening, whether it's writing, whether it's speaking, how can we do that? 